and we're here to we're here to show you a uh, a lab, and then you do it. What do we do, Gary? <laughs> objective. Yeah. Objective with structures. I need to be. Arm moves. I can't see it. What are we supposed to say? What are we supposed to uh, the say? Uh, the adjust. Again, the objective today with to structures, which more structures are more resistant to damage caused by an earthquake. 3D students know how and why earthquakes occur. What's that say? Invest. And Invest and experiment. And experiment. Students, will students will formulate formulations using logical Ooh. and evidence. IG or mm. 1G. <laughs> will recognize the usefulness and limitations and models of theories as <laughs> scientific <reputation laughs> representations of reality. <laughs> right here we have, I bought a bag of blocks from the local night. <laughs> I bought bags from the store from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart. Oh, fuck. And we have to rubber bands from Staples or any store. And right here we did like the kids they made <laughs> stuff where you pound on the table and see if it go boom and she's like and let me read the instructions. <laughs> Just like behind. This is an earthquake the building supplies oh, building one. blocks for the band. <laughs> building blocks. <laughs> building blocks. What's that? And then you have to read the click glass. Um, what's it at, Mr. Gates? On one table, build one structure by stacking building blo blocks on top of each other. Pound gently on the side of the table record what happens to the structure. Record. We're using rubber bands. Wrap set of three blocks together. Build the second structure by using these blocks. Repeat step two. The analysis. Which, which of your students was more or structures caused by the earthquake? How could this model relate to building real structures such as evolving highways? Highway. We're there done. You go. We're signing off. I wanted to deny the sunny class. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>